Hello everyone, welcome to the US Marine Channel. Ukraine has developed and successfully used in combat a guided artillery gun with a longer range and heavier warhead than the vaunted guided multiple launch rocket system, GMLRS, munitions provided by the United States and its allies. Called Vilka M, it is a modified version of the 7.6 meter long, 25 foot long Soviet made BM 30 Smirch multiple rocket system, MLRS, artillery rocket. The Vilka M has a range of 110 kilometers, 68 miles, a 300 millimeters, 485 pound warhead, and can strike targets with high accuracy. Ivan Vinik, first deputy head of the Ukrainian Defense Industry Association, told the war zone on Tuesday. By comparison, the GMLRS munitions, fired by the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS, and M270 Multiple Rocket System MLRS, provided to Ukraine, have a range of up to about 80 km 50 miles, and a 227mm 200-pound warhead. Yes, Vilka has been used in combat, Vinik said Tuesday, at the U.S.-Ukraine Security Dialogue 15 conference at the National Press Club in Washington. He could not reveal the exact location where the Vilka and missiles were used. In a subsequent conversation on Wednesday, Vinik told the war zone that the Vilka M conversion program began in 2018, and that about 100 units were produced. They were first used in combat in May 2022, he added. Their accuracy, he said, is due to the so-called gas rudder, a number of small holes that release propellant, which is used to direct the missile to its target via GPS. Vilka M is said to be a fairly the accurate and precise down. munition, but the extent of its accuracy has not been disclosed at this dirty. time. We have a hard job, we have manual labor. It's just awesome. And know that all this hard work that we do to send these rounds is paying off. Last week, the Azov seaport city of Mariupol, then about 50 miles from the nearest Ukrainian military, was attacked on consecutive nights, raising questions about the use of Vilka M. While it is possible that GMLRS were used in these attacks, it is not impossible that Vilka M was used. But Vinik did not reveal this information. Although produced in low numbers so far, the Vilka M provides Ukraine with a bullet that can reach 36% farther with more than twice the payload of the GMLRS. In addition, plans are underway to modify the Vilka M to increase its range to 150 kilometers, about 93 miles, Vinik said. As with where the Vilka M is being used, Vinik declined to be specific about when the longer range modification would be completed or how many would be produced. Hopefully in time for what is widely expected to be the start of a counteroffensive into the southern sea of Azov. The new variant will not be tested before it is used in combat, he added. Testing will take place on the battlefield, he said. The longer-range Vilko Miz has about the same range as the ground-launched small-caliber bombs, GLSDBs, recently approved by the Pentagon for Ukraine, but with a much larger warhead and much higher momentum. It would be particularly effective against targets such as bridges, large structures, and heavy fortifications that are unsuitable for either GLSDB or GMLRS. But even with a range of 93 miles, the new Vilka M is less than half that of the short-range ballistic missiles produced by the U.S. Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS, which can strike targets some 200 miles away. So far, however, the U.S. has refused to offer them to Ukraine. Still, it's not bad. Benayak said of the improved Burka M at the U.S.-Ukraine Security Dialogue 15 conference on Tuesday, it's much better than what we have now. It is difficult to ascertain the extent to which Ukraine is actively developing and deploying long-range precision weapons. For example, there is speculation that it may have revived its own ballistic missile program, which at one time was quite mature, 
However, the Vilka M is valuable evidence that Ukraine is very capable, and despite constant attacks, is actively engaged in deploying its own long-range, hard-hitting weapons on the battlefield, albeit in limited numbers. Four. 